We're going to be palpating the muscle pectineus, which is one of the adductors. So the first thing I'm going to actually ask my partner to do is going to create a border as we go into what is known as a figure four position. So she's going to be placing her hand over top of genitalia just to create a border so that again, no accidental contact is made. Uh, we're going to be looking for the origin of pectineus, which is going to be on the pubis and specifically the superior pubic ramus on what's something called the pectineal line. So what I have my thumb on or my fingertips on right here is the ASIS, and I'm actually gonna go down along what is known as the inguinal ligament, and that inguinal ligament is gonna take me right towards the pubic tubercle, which is right here. So I have the pubic tubercle and the ASIS, and again, the inguinal ligament runs along there. From this inguinal ligament and pubic tubercle, we want to drop down into the femoral triangle. So I'm off the tubercle and the inguinal ligament dropping into the femoral triangle. And I'm going to try to go gently sink into the femoral triangle and then up towards this pubic ramus. Take caution because the femoral arteries in this area, so if you start feeling a really strong pulse, you actually want to be slightly more medial to that major blood vessel, which is sitting around here. Once we are inside this femoral triangle near the origin of the muscle, I'm gonna ask my client to do a combination action, which she's going to bring her knee up and bring it across. So almost towards her opposite shoulder, good, and relax. And what I can feel is a lift as this muscle tissue is kind of lifting my fingers up and elevating it up. So those two actions are flexion and adduction at the acetabular femoral joint. I'm gonna have her do that again, and good. I can feel this nice broad lift that's happening underneath. Pectineus is quite a small muscle going from that pectineal line of the pubis and inserting into the pectineal line of the femur. So it really is kind of just a small triangular kind of shaped muscle in the femoral triangle. Some people will call this the floor of the femoral triangle because it's not on the surface, it's actually quite deep within it. So I'm gonna head lateral and inferior, and I'm gonna try to find the femur in this area. Another way to think about this is it's gonna be inserting just below the iliopsoas tendon, which is coming down into the lesser trochanter of the femur. I'm gonna bring her leg down for a moment. She's gonna just keep her hand where it is. So if I drop off the ASIS and the inguinal ligament, just below that, but now lateral to my pulse, this is close to that iliopsoas hip flexor muscle. And I'm gonna get her to just lift her knee up towards her chest, good. So what I wanna do is again, bring her back to that figure four and go just inferior and a little bit deeper to the lesser trochanter. And again, I'm gonna ask her to bring her knee to her opposite shoulder for me. Good, and right in this area, I'm feeling that small lift. If you can't get all the way to the pectineal line of the femur, that is okay. But again, we're really looking for a small muscle in this kind of quadrant right in here. So that is gonna conclude our palpation of the muscle pectineus.